Today we're going to explore creating groups in JSS. There are two types of groups, smart mobile device groups and static mobile device groups. Smart mobile device groups are groups that JSS determines whether or not a iPad or a user should be in that group based on a set of criteria that you determine. Static mobile device groups are groups where the people in the group are assigned to that group and you have to manually move them in or out. Today, let's look at smart mobile device groups. So first you'll click on the tab that says smart mobile device groups here on the left. You'll see here are a few mobile device, smart mobile device groups that I've already created. You'll push the plus button to create a new one and give it a descriptive name. For example, this group I'm going to call iPads in loss mode. This is going to be for all iPads that are at my school that are currently listed in lost mode. Then I'm going to click the criteria tab here at the top and I can add a criteria. So as you can see, you have lots of options here for what criteria that you would like to use. So right here is one that says lost mode enabled. I'm going to click choose. Okay. So, and it says lost mode enabled is yes. So now this is going to give me that if lost mode is enabled, then it, these iPads will show up in this group. Under the operator tab, you also have is or is not. You have different options based on what you choose for your um, first criteria here. So then I'm going to hit save. Now what happens when you create a smart mobile device group like that, and I'm going to hit done down here at the bottom, is that JSS decides whether or not an iPad needs to be in that group. So you can see iPads in lost mode and it says membership count four because currently there are four iPads at my school that are listed as lost. So if I click on that and then down here at the bottom I click where it says view, I can see the names and information of those four iPads that are currently in lost mode. So in my smart mobile device groups you'll see that I have several here you also can add more than one criteria. So for example, perhaps I want to know under the criteria here, it says lost mode is enabled and I'll click the edit button to make an edit. So I have lost mode enabled as yes. And maybe I also want to add that I want to know also the iPads that are lost mode is enabled. Yes. And that the last time they checked in is before or more than this many days ago or less than. So I'm going to say the last inventory update, was more than two days ago. So this means that for any iPads that are in lost mode and also have not checked in within this length of time. So I'll hit save. And then if I hit view, it's going to show me now there's only one iPad in this group. And again, that's because you can see the last inventory update on this iPad was several days prior to that. Um, today is February 23rd. The last time this iPad checked in was on February 11th. So again, that's how you can make lots of decisions about how you'd like to filter down your data by that. So I'm going to click on my smart mobile device groups and my iPads in lost mode only says one. Remember, I put that second operator on there. You can go back through and delete an operator or a criteria. So I'm going to actually delete this one that says this last inventory update and leave it so I only want to know what iPads are in my school that are also in lost mode. Smart mobile device groups are very handy if you are looking for certain th um, things. For example, I have five iPads currently listed as not at Springfield Middle. What this one is is that the criteria is listed as not at Springfield Middle School and the model is not the iPad 2's because all of the teacher iPads will show up otherwise. But the ones that say not at Springfield Middle School, if I click view, it will show me here these are the students whose um, information are wrong. So let's say that I select this one. This shows you here, see it says that his building is Bester Elementary School. So I know for sure that this student is not going to be able to pick up apps from my app store because he's not correctly assigned to my school. So I'll need to go here to edit and correct that. The smart mobile device group should be used carefully. Um, if you have too many of those, you can actually put a big strain on the system. Technology department told us that we are, when the iPads are in the smart mobile device group, they check in every 25 to 30 seconds to make sure that they are still belonging in that group. So if you have a group, make sure that it is only contains the iPads that you really need it to contain. Um, I would not make a smart mobile device group with all of the iPads in your building. That will really put a drain on the network resources. Please let me know if you have any questions.